welcome back at Veneta Farm. In this video I will show you a few of the projects we have been working on the last weeks. Some big and some small. Some more challenging than others. But in the end it's always so rewarding to see the result of our hard work. This first project is one I did together with Suresh. We tiled the kitchen slab with the slate from our farm. I wanted the slate to be cut with straighter edges, compared to the other projects where we kept the slate more rough and natural. The existing earthen surface is prepared by adding a layer of cement plaster with a chicken mesh embedded in this layer. This gives strength and water resistance, or at least that is the idea. It is a bit of an experiment, so let's see how well it will work and behave over time. It got late the day of this project, but we are super happy with the result. Soon we will install the tap and the drain and we can start doing the dishes inside. Doing the dishes inside will be such a luxury after having washed the dishes outside over the last few years. On a beautiful day like this, it is no problem and it can be quite meditative. But imagine this also in the cold winter months and during rains. Nowadays we have rainwater stored in the tank we constructed last year. And we are now working on finishing the tank. This rainwater harvesting tank is built of earth bags and lined with a liner suitable for storing drinking water. I will show you the construction process a little bit later, so hang on for that. During the winter months, some water has collected in the tank from the roof of the old house and the tank itself. But during a heavy snowstorm, the gutters had filled, since we had not fastened them properly. And we lost out on quite a little bit of water. Now we have fixed the gutters and will hopefully be able to fill the tank completely coming rainy season. In the meantime, horses are coming up daily to bring the material for the farm fencing. We will be fencing the farm with a chain link fence and barbed wire. And on the forest side we will install one or two lines of solar electric fence as well to keep the monkeys out. So a larger project we have been working on the last weeks is the plastering of the tank. The first earthen leveling layer is done, but a strong weld mesh for extra strength and more layers of probably a cement based plaster will follow. As I said we have built the tank using earth bags, with a liner inside to store the water. <laughs> The roof structure is standing on its own and it's covered with corrugated sheets. This is also quite an experimental project and we are curious to see how it will serve us over the years. For us the benefits of trying it this way are outweighing the risks. The main benefit being that this way of construction is actually affordable for us living a minimum of one and a half hours walk away from any road. We will rely on rainwater since the nearest natural water source is half an hour walk downhill. The last years we have always been getting our water from this source, by walking up and down with 20 liter drums full of water in our backpacks.
the next project is the cow shed. Although we are currently thinking of making it first a temporary chicken coop, we have not been able to get any animals on the farm yet. Although we really want to and we really need them. But we need more reliable and permanent help at the farm to be able to leave sometimes to the city. As we cannot avoid having to leave the farm now and then. I would say that finding such a permanent person or people has been our primary challenge the last years. Living such a simple life and being so far away from amenities is even for the locals here not a very attractive idea. But we are not giving up, believing that the perfect match is out there somewhere. And it's hopefully happening soon. We dream of getting chickens, cows, a horse, sheep, bees, a cat and ducks and fishes for in the pond. Wouldn't that be absolutely lovely? These days we are experimenting with new final plaster recipes. Stabilizing earth with cement and or lime. We learned that earthen plasters have a slow learning curve and we are definitely still learning. But the cow shed is a good place to try out new things. In the evenings we try to focus a bit on the garden and mostly on maintaining the perennial plants like trees, berries and herbs. We did plant garlic in between the young strawberry plants this year. But our focus mostly goes to the building work and it's going really well so far. See you again in the next video. If you are liking these videos, do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Wishing you a lovely day and take care.